Hoi, ik ben Lenny. Ik wil graag uh, geknipt worden weer uh, door Theo. Uh, asymmetrisch, weer wat korter. En twee kleurtjes in mijn haar. Rood en uh, een donkere uh, onderlaag. Yeah. Lenny wants to be cut and she wants to stay in the asymmetrical lines. She wants a red color on top. And she wants a dark color as a base color. Wil je een rondje draaien? She turns around to show you how her current hairstyle is. Thank you. Hello friends on YouTube. Got me a new model again. Now I know her from Facebook, but we know each other by also meeting each other sometimes in the neighborhood. <laughs> the last haircut I did on her was at the River Wild. I was cutting for a charity. So I made her this hairstyle the first time she was asymmetrical. But she likes it. So now she wants a haircut again, so I ask her to model for you. Give her a nice cape. As always, I start with protection, then a wet hair. Then I'm going to do the cut with a hot razor. I didn't do this the last time because there was no uh, energy, so I couldn't do it with a hot razor. But this is how I'm going to do it. Start by brushing the hairs. And she has a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> Very curly, huh? <laughs> curly. I'm about wetting it. In the meantime, I watch at the shapes of the skull. Watch at the structure of the hairs. Where I can get something from the hairs and ask something from the hairs. And it's really nice she has this much hair. Because she has a very small skull. So when you would take a lot of the weight of the hairs off, <laughs> you will hardly see her. Yeah. So now she has more shape by the hairs. So I need this volume of hairs, especially on her. Because when I turn up to the sides, and when I push this down, see how small the skull is. It's a very small head beneath this hair. Start on the cut. Now watch the fall of the hairs. Lay a little bit aside, set it in the asymmetrical line, follow her natural waves. They are very important to see because otherwise I cannot get it on her lines and I want to keep her lines as her lines. Making sure the hair is wet enough to work with a hot razor is very important because with a hot razor you need wet hair to seal the hair. Starting on the side, Get into the lines, follow the lines, do this also with my comb. Go in at the front, go into the flow of the hairs. Told you I need some volume on top, so it's very important to hold some volume on top. What I like the most on the hot racer is, you don't have to force anything, it travels very lightly through the hairs. She be getting into this wave. The only thing I have to watch for is of course her ears and her skin. Take the hairs over to the front. Set my knife into the wave. And follow the natural curvings. She has also very strong hair. Mm -hmm. But she's also a power puffy. Oh, yeah. so she's a strong woman. Yeah. Zeker. Most women in the Netherlands are very strong women. <laughs> But I like to have women with fire. Yeah. Dat is wel nodig in deze wereld. Hè? Ja, zeker. <laughs> Follow the lines I set in. Coming again to the base rounding. Go over the fold of the skull lines. And the underlines I make nice, short, but not 
too short because she has a lot of hair so when I would make it in the underlines too short it would look a bit silly I need some hair in the underlines so it's wel iets anders op de waalkade oh ja ja, als je hier zit knuffen. Oh, zo. Dat Hoeveel heb je ja, al? Ja. ja, ja. En alle mensen die langs kwamen lopen. Ja. <laughs> nou, heb ik een spiegel, hè? Nou kan ik het een beetje in de gaten houden. <laughs> ja, maar niet veel spiegelen. Nee. <laughs> en wat kun je een kapper in de gaten houden? Ah, <laughs> oh, ik vertrouw het helemaal. En, en het groeit wel weer aan. Hè? Ja, zeker. <laughs> Continue on the line. On the other lines of the skull bone. But I don't know where the skull bone is, I can push my fingers in, I can feel the skull bone of course. But when you use this roundings, you get also the best result because now I work in her lines and I'm not decide my own lines because I take her lines to be my lines in my hairstyle that I create up from. Nee, ik ga het goed. Okay. Ik meld me wel. Ja, dat is ook zo. <laughs> Niet alleen maar het mooist. Watch how the waving goes. Because when you have wavy hair, you see structures like this. So you have to be aware of that. And go in the opposite lines. Or follow the lines. It just depends on what you want of the house. Create a nice soft underline. I really like to work with hot racing because I really love this too. It brings me nothing, but the only thing my customers are happy with it, and my models are happy with it. So, <laughs> and that's the most important thing. Of the brand, it brings me nothing. I'm curious what the difference is. The difference between the she, she asked me if, if she could see or feel the, feel the difference between hot racer and normal. But I thought so when she's ready, she can feel this certainly. Mm. The nice thing of working with hot racer is you get a more feminine feeling of hair because the hair feels more soft in the ends. And especially on this hair, it stays close for more than four months. So mm. you don't have split ends, you don't have dry ends. Now I have a strong baseline, nice short, but also I keep the balance and the weight on the back, so I have a lot of volume. Take a new line on it, especially on the running, and not totally to the front. Watch at the fall of this. Take it on the line of cutting, pull it to the front. Get rid of the line, but in this line I thin out a little bit because it's upper lines, so I want the playful effect on the top. So I hold my knife flat while I adjust the length just to create some playful effect on top. But see how I push the hairs into the natural roundings, use the roundings. And then give it the bending to the back. Ah, oh, the sound of the wire. Die snoer is altijd lastig. Ik moet nog steeds een keer stoppen dat ik hier aan de achterkant maak.
And for those who watch a lot of videos of mine, this after work, so it's seven o'clock. <sighs> I think I have a lot of videos with seven o'clock on it. Okay. But Mother Nature now at seven o'clock in the morning is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm mostly outside to feed the birds uh, in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I really like birds around my house. Get to a new layer. Like I would do with the clock, I take parts in a bit, like a clock part. So I just take parts like when I would uh, yeah, travel like clock from the center line, clock, 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 every time, take an hour with it. Take it over again to the baseline, starting on the front. Again, in the soft line, and still on this half of the head. But adjusting length, of course, because I take it over the running of the skull. Still using her lines. Watching at the back. But take the hairs over, lay them in the running, hold my comb in the lines of the skull line, go in with my knife. Adjusting the length. And see how nice this falls into the neckline. The only thing that bothers me with cutting with a hot razor is the, the wire because it's always in the way. Not in the salon, but in a studio it is. Got to find me a good way to wire it up. Kist, if the ash naar een andere kapper gaan, kun je steeds film laten zien. Ja, ja, klopt. Ja. Kun je het ook zo knippen, op die manier? Ja. Nou, ze kunnen eerst kijken. Ja. Je geeft wel lesmateriaal. Ja, dat is super wel, ja. ja. Here is a little bit more bending. So, take this to the back. Don't force anything, just, just leave it a little bit in the bending. And then I see only the underlines. So I take the underlines into the line of cutting. This is my baseline. Maar je voelt ook wel als het gewoon als het haar vochtig is hoe zacht dit is. Hè? En je hoeft helemaal niet trekken of zo. Een echt mes zal veel meer schade bereden, ja, maken op je haar. Oh ja. Dit is gewoon lekker zacht, dat is heel, dit voelt ook echt super zacht. Mm. Als je dit voelt, dit haar, hoe zacht dat voelt, voelt dan zo, je kunt die punten gewoon voelen. Dat voelt zo heerlijk zacht. Oh ja. Ja. Dan komt er wat een, een proteïne dekseltje op. Oké, okay. is ook gezond toch nog, ja. Het is echt super goed. Ja, ja, ja. Nou komt de longer side. Take a line, like the chin line. Of course the chin is the most important line you get. Take a little bit of water. Now that she likes the length on this side. So I take this to the back, knowing also there is a more waving in it, so I need a little bit more length. So I take it to the back, my cup to the line of the skull bone. Mm -hmm. That's look at you. That's my two. Nou, dat is de bedoeling dat van mij raakt erin, maar met dat. Oh ja, ja, ja. Take a new line on it. Now this is a very thick part of the top. This is slight, slightly waving, so I don't have the waves like I have on the front. But I create some waving by just making it a little bit more less thick. This I do by just using the tip of my knife. Then come to the wavy part, pull it to the back, watch at the line of cutting.
Ja, zeker. Ja, ja, ja. Echt, uh, echt, uh, 98% vindt het uh, mooier dan het uh, half lang. Ja, maar weet je ook vanwege het feit dat jij zo'n bos haar hebt? Ja. ja. D- dit is een lekker los kapsel stoer, past goed bij jou. Ja. Dat mooi bij je karakter, vind ik. Ja, ik moet even overdenken of ik het uh, dan uh, <laughs> zo hou, hè? Ja, niet ja, maar dan, dan moet je gewoon kijken. Maar het is voor nu gewoon wel even goed, ja. ja. Ja, wat weet je hoe korter je gaat in kapsels, hoe vaker je naar de kapsel moet. Ja, je moet het bijhouden, hè? Ja. Nou, heeft en... het wel een hele tijd goed gezeten. Ja, hoor. zeker, maar dan komt dat je ook natuurlijke lijnen pakt. Ja, ja. Watch the fall, and you see how much volume you create by using these lines. So you get a lot of waving, but also the nice curly effect in the ends. Now come to the part that's laying on top. This I can do to the front, because this doesn't reach the lines on the back. So this I do on the front. <laughs> it's KDA. Ah, it's me! Mario! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Coming to the front. Take it apart. Take it over. Take it in a line. Use the natural lines. The upper lines of the skull bone again. Go in. And gently take it down. Take a new line on it, knowing this is the thickest part in our hair, knowing that I have a hot knife, thin it out a little bit, so I have a little bit more playful effect. Using the knife flat on the hairs, take a little bit of this weight, because I find this too much on this side. I know the heavenly father knows that it's okay, but... <laughs> Holding this line, watch the beautiful lines of the skull. Bending my fingers to the inside, so I know that my folds go through that way. Coming over the center line, take the hairs over the center line. Lay them again into the natural roundings. First adapt the length, adjust it to the line I created. Bend my fingers into the fold of the hairs. Het fijne is ook als je nou die haar in je gezicht hebt, dan wel, jouw haar zijn best hard. Mm. Maar als je ze nu in je gezicht krijgt, zijn ze heel zacht. Oh ja. Dat ligt er aan wat ik erin doe, hè? Lak. Ja, dat maakt, maakt niet zoveel uit. Schuimt ja, lak. <laughs> maar het is een andere structuur dan. Ja, de punten zijn zo zacht van, van lijn. Stay working on the line, knowing where the asymmetrical line ends. So work to that, get to that line. From the center line on top, lay all the hairs to the front. Starting on the sides, adjusting the length again. Lay the hairs into the natural roundings. You can see it on the fold that it's natural rounding. Play with the structure and use your fingers to guide the hairs into the lines. Now what is leuk is that you now can hear how much that you normally do without thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the leuke of it. Yeah. Lay the hairs to the back. Now I have a little less weight on this, so this folds a lot better. It's more playful. And for her it's easier to get into a style. Now come to the longer part. Take the hairs to the back. Get into the roundings again. Watch again to the lines. And work till I get on the front.
So now the base. <laughs> Hairs don't taste that well. <laughs> Next time I use it, something nice like sugar or foam oh, or something yeah. like that. Chocolate? Chocolate. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's a baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to the neckline and create a soft green neckline. So I take a small clipper of Kiona, set the hairs aside, get rid of the woody hairs I don't need. They're always in the way. Then lay the hairs like they should lay. Clean the line. And then the nice thing of her uh, hair is she has an asymmetrical line into the neckline. So I use this asymmetrical line into the hairstyle to create also the neckline asymmetrical line. So I use also the natural line of the fall of the hairs. Okay, there's on it. This is because this waving part in the underlines follows to the line. So it creates this line. In the meantime, I'm thinking about the colors. Mm -hmm. Now she loves to have a nice deep red color mm -hmm. and a nice brown in the underlines. Going to the sideburn. And the short side on the front side. Oh, yeah. Just do your hair. Nu is het helemaal thermisch klaar. Voel er eens doorheen met je handen. Dan kun je voelen hoe zacht je haar voelt. Ja. Toen ik voor de eerste keer thermisch knipte, ja. was ik zo onder de indruk van hoe, hoe lekker dat haar voelde. Ja. Ik had nog nooit lekker lang haar gevoeld. Dat is altijd touw. Ja, ja. Now she likes to have the ears free. So I pull the ear down. Set in my scissor on the line of the ear. Create a nice friendly feminine sideburn. I don't have to shave this up because the structure of the hair makes it not nice to shave it up. Just creating a nice rounding. Get in from the upper lines. And free that beautiful ear. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ears are wonderful. Mm -hmm. They are the most personal things you have. And no one has your ears. Mm -hmm. They are only yours. Mm -hmm. Sometimes thieves get cut by the ear prints on the window. Because they can listen through the... Uh, the window if there's somebody home but then they print their ear on the window so you know like a fingerprint <laughs> the ears on the window <laughs> now see how wonderful this falls so now she's ready to get a new color yeah i make the colors of collage i make photo of this into the video i take a six, 659 that's a red color with six percent that's 20 volume and I put a conditioner in because she has wavy hair. I want the best result. Start on top, applying this from the roots to the ends, of course. I made only this color because in the underlines I will use a black into the rest over of the color to create a dark underline. So I'm also certain that the baseline of a color is in line with the color I apply on the top of the hair. Get a little bit over to the fall of the head, so about a centimeter over it. And afterwards I comb the darker underline into the lines on top. Ja. Nu wel, we heten weer kapper kuif, zegt oh. u me. Oh, oké. Okay. Ik allebei de namen. Oh, allebei de namen. Hm. Now I apply all the color on the top. So this is uh, nicely spread. Then I have a rest over of the color. Show you the rest over. It's this bit. Then go to my number one, the zero. Don't need extra defaultable. And put about eight centimeters of the black into the rest over of the product. Show you that. So you see it laying. Smash this through each other. Ooh. Gonna find the paint. Oh my god. 
Nee, hij is fighting, hij is fighting. Ja, waar ben ik aan begonnen? Nee, het komt helemaal goed. It's gonna be alright. Ja, yeah, mostly. <laughs> Put this in the underlines. This was certainly dark in the under color, but I'm also certain that it stays in line with the red. Also in this color is uh, conditioner. I mostly do conditioners into colors. And I really like the fluid conditioner of Glint. And this is step one, it's going into this. And when I'm in the sink, and before I use the conditioner on the hair, I put a step two on it. So this stabilizes the condition and the, the protection system of step one. Making sure there's enough product on the hair so it covers all the nice blonde hairs. <laughs> blonde or grey? Ah no, blonde. <laughs> Your crazy is blonde though, mama. <laughs> what I told you, in the other lines, I come it a little bit into the upper lines. Not too much, just a little bit. Then clean my comb. Then lay the reds back. So comb the hairs into the position that they lay afterwards. See already the reds developing. Made a little bit bleach, also with 6%, and only on the front, go in, follow the lines, creating some soft highlights in the front, so it softens the lines to the front. Also again, on the color, so I'm certain that it's always in the line of the color I used. With the tip of my comb, go into that line, making sure it will be a soft line. Of that, I lay some carton wigs, so I'm certain that it stays on top. Clean the skin on forehead. Put some carton wigs on it. Then I close my plastic foil and a week go for a cup of tea. And you just stay there because we're certainly back. Okay. For you it takes only seconds. Oh yeah. But we can drink a tea in between. The same with wood. Close my foil. Take it high up. Secure it on the back, take it to the front, secure it in front of the nut, and close it. So don't go away. No, I stay. Hello friends on YouTube, we're back. Now I'm gonna use uh, Divine as a product of Glint. Using this amount. It's a bit creamy product, but it's a curly product. Because I want to get curls out of this beautiful hair. Get the most effect on the hairs. I'm going to try this with a diffuser and a very large one. And the blow dryer I use is of Kione. Now, don't call this uh, no diffuser. <laughs> It takes some time, but then you have beautiful curls. So don't uh, make a video of this. Just holding the curls where they are in the natural lines. Get even bend them a bit into the lines where I like them to lay, and dry them this way.
Ik werk het ook dadelijk uit zonder highlight. Mm-hmm. Dan kunnen we daarna kunnen we het altijd nog wat doen. Ja, ja. Dan kun je gewoon even lekker met de borst erheen en dan kun je het net zo klein maken zelf. Mm-hmm. The sofa blow drying. Now what I'm going to use is the most beautiful product there is in the world. In my opinion, it's the golden oil of Lonza. It's a nursing oil. And it gives a wonderful shine, but also a wonderful smell to the hairs. And it softens the curly effect. It breaks out the colors even more. I have a super mooi curl. It's so mooi olie, this yeah. Okay. This is the best olie that in the world is. Aha. Een soort herriebeer of... Uh... Ja, het is een healing oil op Lanza. Mm. Mm. Het geeft een ontzettende mooie verzorging van je haar. Mm. Je kunt het ook voor je huid gebruiken. Oké. I thank her for being my model. Thank you for okay. watching. You're welcome. <laughs> she will turn Say, around. Uh, hi to the land of Mazamal. <laughs> yeah. She will turn around to show you the end result. Okay. And we see each other next video. Two seconds, Gatti. I'll give you something. Yes. Try to set it. I'll try to get out of the beeld. Yeah. Try it a little bit. Can I just let it sit? I'm Lenny. I want to be clipped again by Theo. Uh, asymmetrisch, weer wat korter en twee kleurtjes in mijn haar, rood en uh, een donkere uh, onderlaag. Yeah. Danny wants to be cut and she wants to stay in the asymmetrical lines. She wants a red color on top and she wants a dark color as a base color. Een rondje draaien. She turns around to show you how her current hairstyle is.